upstairs. Everybody have a good afternoon, a good evening. Good Lord willing, we'll talk with you later on. K1EMW. 33. Have a good one, Don. You know, Don, we're going to miss you here. You couldn't hang around for another five or ten minutes, could you? You like Mike, you powered off. I take that as a no. Good afternoon, gentlemen. It's W1RC. W1RC. That's a new call for me. How you doing? Nice signal. Oh, that's a bad. His name is Michael QTH's Marblehead in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I, uh, good old friend of mine used to live there. And pollen's starting to come out and good stuff like that. That's great. Our uh, brown-tailed moths will be hatching soon. And our black flies, so we won't even be able to go outside. We're either going to catch a rash from a moth or uh, get eaten up by black flies. So we're going to be in good shape here shortly. We have neither. We do. We get the flies. We don't have black flies here. Uh, they do down in Middleborough, right? Of course, we got the heron runs down here. Hey, what's up, everybody? K1 GMM. In the ditch. What a beautiful day today. A lot of work done. Uh, got the snow tires off the car. Oh, what else did I do? Uh, did a new rotor set of pads on the front of the CC uh, before I slapped the summer tires and wheels on. And it was true maniac style. I don't see anybody in the chat yet, so we're going to keep this moving. I was kind of hoping there'd be people in the chat, and I don't see anyone. <laughs> Anyways, um, don't even know. It says I'm live. Uh, there's Mike. How are you doing? Uh, I'm going to wait to see if the chat populates uh, for a minute here, and uh, then we'll... Uh, We'll get on with business. I, I gotta, I gotta remember. I remember today to do the uh, thing, uh, the new thing we're doing. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Uh, the new thing with uh, I'm gonna give you guys some lyrics, and you guys figure out the name of the song and the artist. The first person who pops it in the chat, and no cheating, no looking it up online, Dag Gummit. And this is a really easy one. This is a song that we all remember where we were and who we were with when this song was getting airtime. And it was played every five minutes. <laughs> you could jump from one station to another, one FM station to another and hear this song. And I know you guys are, it's a really easy one. And you guys are going to jump all over this. So first person who gets it in the chat uh, gets the crown. And uh, everybody else can suck it. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> uh, the hack in the shack. We're back. And we're going to be running through. Uh, this is going to be, I promise, it will be short and sweet. Some things I've been, uh, some changes I've made to the DSP front end. And... Um, it is really nice, man. It's really, it's shocking. And let's see what else. And that's about it. Uh, there's some guys, a couple guys jumped on this. So I want to keep updating it as I make the changes. Some things I found out, some mistakes I was making. And uh, the reasons why those were mistakes. I'll see if I can show you guys, share share what I've, I've been doing. Um, I have a new toy coming. Hey, Andy. I have a new toy. Uh, the Anon is going bye-bye. I'm selling the 200. And I just picked up a Sun SDR DX today. Uh, just placed the order. And it was being boxed up this afternoon. It will probably be here either Saturday or Monday. So we'll see. Probably Monday. Um... So, without further ado, uh, Pita. Yes, really. Yes, really. 
uh, I came into some money. No, I didn't. I didn't really. But I've been saving some money uh, all through last year because of, you know, the crap that's been going on. We've all, you know, with I'm not I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get shadow banned on this turd of a platform. Uh, hey, Eddie. Um, and. Uh, you know, I, I didn't spend a penny last. Well, I bought the Anon last year, but. Uh, I should be able to get pretty much all of my money back out of that. You cannot find those for sale right now. There's there's a few here and there floating around, but they usually don't last long. And they're like, you know, like the 7,000s and stuff like that. So um, anyways, uh, yep, I just want it for, I don't know. Uh, I just want it. I want to move away from the, the Anon is open source. It's a great rig, but holy freaking crap. Is it a complicated rig? It's a pain in my ass, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I can't deal with it. Uh, so we'll try the sun. If the sun is, is bad, if not worse, uh, I'll be selling that too. <laughs> so it uh, looks like we got a couple guys in here. And uh, let's see. Here are the lyrics to the song. I'm not even going to tell you the era this was popular in. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. I remember right where I was, what I was doing, who I was with, and uh, you guys will be all over this. So here we go. Get your get your typing fingers ready. Here are, the, here are some of the lyrics. This is from one, uh, one verse. Quote, She was the color of the Indian summer, and we shared the hours without number. Until one day... When the sky turned dark and the winds grew wild. So I'll say it again. She was the color of the Indian summer and we shared the hours without number until one day when the sky turned dark and the winds grew wild. And there you go. Name of the song and the artist that did it. We'll see how long it takes. That's an easy one, man. I have a hard time even saying it without singing it. <laughs> uh, I think most of you guys, hey, uh, Steve. Um, 04332. Good to see you in here, man. Um, I think you guys probably... There you go. Okay. Mike, you got it. What's the... Who's the artist? No cheating. Nope. You're close. You're close, Mike. That's... that's uh, you're really close. Thunder something. It's not Thunder Bay. There you go. Okay. Mike's, Mike's got the partial crown on. Crown on. And the artist... Not sure, uh, hey, Tintio. So see if you guys can come up with the artist. You may have to squ uh, split the glory. <laughs> Woo! Come on, you guys know this. Thunder Island. Who did Thunder Island? Uh, we're talking back in the 80s, folks. Who did Thunder Island? Anyways, um... Good one, Mike. Uh, but you're halfway there. <laughs> All right. Who did Thunder Island? Uh, so you guys can fester on that. That there you go, Peter. All right, you split. Jay Ferguson. Yep. You guys got to split the split the glory, man. Uh, you guys can duke it out amongst each other, and you can do it in the chat if you want, or you can meet up in in a parking lot somewhere. How's that? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay off and running man here we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do basically the screenshot uh, I'm going to leave this up so people can see exactly what it is and they can tailor their settings like I said there's been a couple people uh, working with this stuff since I presented it and um, uh, I wanted to update what I found so again I am running what is this? Cakewalk. This is Cakewalk by Band Labs. This is a DAW. And I have the, the plugins are again going to be in this video in the description. So anybody who stumbles upon this, they can download the plugins. This is an updated configuration. All right. This is what I've been going with. And uh, uh, so if you look right here under the FX tab, uh, this is for the radio track two right here. 
If you look under the FX tab, I have the Bertom uh, Denoiser DSP. All right, that's running. So you can look at where my settings are here. Uh, you'll see uh, the 7300 can listen out to 3.6 kilohertz. I have found that uh, for a band that isn't too noisy, for very good signals, you can reel this out. You take this knob and you, you can wind this out to about 3.6, 3, 3.7. 3, um, really not a lot of a difference there. Um, uh, you'll see the frequency, the high frequency right there. So this is uh, 3.5 kilohertz right now. Woo! That was a big rattle. Somebody just rattled the cage on 75 meters. <laughs> um, uh, I've been leaving it around 3.1. Uh, again, this is for DX and contesting, but man, I've been using it for rag chewing and stuff, and it is freaking beautiful. Uh, I was putting it up against the Anon, and I, to be honest with you, man, I'm going to be running this. I'm going to figure out a way to run this on the Sun SDR on every single transceiver that I will ever own. Uh, it is bitching. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, so uh, there's the settings for that. You can copy that. You can fuss with these sliders a little bit. Um, these sliders will affect the noise reduction on each one of these frequencies. So you got 35 hertz, 108 hertz, 332 hertz, 1 kilohertz, and 3.1 kilohertz. Okay. Uh, let's get out of there. Um, I went to a different equalizer. All right. So if you look in this pane, this is the pro, uh, pro channel pane. This is completely deactivated. I'm not using this any longer. Um, I hated the compressor. Uh, I could never get this compressor uh, running correctly uh, the way the way I liked it. So I shut this off, and I'll show you what I'm doing instead with much better results. But first, so I'm using this equalizer. Uh, this is the Sonitis FX equalizer. This is the one that comes with Cakewalk. Now you can find this. Let me close this quick. You can find this if you go in here, insert audio FX, go to EQ, right there, Sonitis Equalizer. So that's where that is. And pay attention to the position of where all these things are. I'll show you that in a second. So let me pop this back open. So here are my settings. Um, so you can look down through here. Uh, I have, uh, pay attention to the Q right here, which is the bandwidth for each one of these frequencies that I'm altering. Okay, I got a little bump in the, in the bottom end, like around 100 hertz. I got a bump like around 40 hertz uh, for that really nice, if you're listening to some ESSB guys or something. Even though this thing can only go 3.6 wide, if they're running 4K wide, you can really, it sounds really good. Um, 45 hertz, 87 hertz. 459 hertz, 2576 hertz, uh, which is where a lot of the articulation comes from in the human voice. Uh, that's number four, 2576. And these, you can, you can highlight them and you can drag them back and forth. Now the Q, uh, let me get down to the bottom here. Uh, so number five and six are 5559 and 15,488 hertz. Um, that's five and six in here. And what I do is I kill the high end completely. Um, on this particular rig, I want the high end to roll off like around eh, three kilohertz or so. Start to roll off. And then by four kilohertz, it's, it's like a steep drop right in right to the bottom. So it kill because there's no audio coming through there anyways. Um, if unless you're listening to the, the 7300 can't hear anything above 3.6 kilohertz anyways. So why have this? Uh, why have these frequencies in there? Right. Um, so if you go down through the queue, uh, these queue positions, I would encourage you to play with these. And of course, this, these are your level settings. Now, these level settings correspond to, like if you left click and hold, like right here on this number four, you drag it up and down, you can drag it sideways. If you drag it up and down, it will move this slider. 
So it's a little tricky to do it that way, so I use the sliders. Okay, that's EQ. So hopefully you got a good look at that. Okay, now, this is what I found. Works much better. Um, this is the Sonitis FX multiband limiter. Okay, this is a limiter. This is not a compressor. So if you go, let's see if I can find it. I'll show you where you can find it. Insert audio effects. Uh, this may be under dynamics. Yes, it is. Go under dynamics, Sonitis multiband. That's the one you want. Pop this back open. Uh, so this is where I have the limiter set. Uh, this is a fairly complex thing. Um, uh, basically, I did not... You can alter uh, the frequency. The frequencies in here, I have the high at 30, at 50, 24, which I, I'm going to end up... I haven't played with this that much, but it does work really well. So I'm going to reduce this down to uh, probably around 3600 hertz and then I'll, I may mess with this a little bit but that 12 I may put that at a uh, 1600 because that's also where a lot of the that's the start of the hash and trash as far as noise and that's also uh, the kill box for the presence in the human voice human voice um, you know 1.6 kilohertz 1600 hertz to about oh three kilohertz uh, that's where the articulation comes in and then your silkiness comes in at 4 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. That's where everything starts to go silk on you. Really, really nice. But um, uh, low mid, uh, 324 and low is 80. So that's, these can be moved right here, these three. Uh, more into the kill box and it'll probably work even better. Because this is high. Uh, that's, the, the radio is not even hearing this, 5024. You know what I'm saying? So, eh. You know, anyways, uh, take a good look at that. Uh, you have your tabs for all your settings in here, your attack and your release. I have not gone through these individually to adjust the attack and the release times because um, that will have an effect as well. Obviously, if you delay the attack on it, it will keep the articulation. Like when, when the voice first starts to hit, like your like your ch and your t and your b, uh, right when your voice starts, right at the very first inflection of your voice, you really don't want the attack to hit immediately. Uh, you want to delay it by oh, 10 to 20 milliseconds, because it'll it'll cut that off. So, uh, boy, I say the word off funny, don't I? So there you go on that, and you can see where these sliders are. So these sliders, you can grab these sliders and drag them up and down, and I drag them down into uh, uh, where the meter, where the signals are. Uh, this is a powerful tool. What this helps do, it doesn't add compression, but it limits the strong signals, um, so you're not blowing everything up, uh, and and it doesn't compress anything. And what I found with the compression was. Um, the compression works great on a quiet band, but to get that dialed in really well, it, it, it just, it's so destructive to the audio, and I was just, uh, I wasn't happy with it. I'm probably going to play with it a little bit more, see if I can get it, just be, maybe a very hint of compression, because a combination of compression and limiting will help those weak signals jump right out of the noise, you know, um, so that's it for that. Okay, that's the multiband, and now we are down to the gate. Uh, so the gate, it pretty much is the same. Haven't touched it. I do, the only thing I'll do is I'll go in and I'll adjust this threshold. Um, and I have the gate set to release after about 1900 milliseconds, which is eh, close to two seconds. And what that allows it to do is it settles naturally. So when someone stops, you know how someone will pause between their speech, like I just did right there? It prevents the gate from slamming closed and then reopening again. They're still keyed up. I just did it again, right? So you'll hear that. And 
and you want the release time extended a little bit. You don't want it real tight. So uh, this will control uh, the weakest signal that will open the uh, audio back up to to uh, to your speakers. So this this is a very nice feature. All right, uh, let's see. Hmm. I think that is it. Uh, so just an update. Uh, order of chaos. Denoiser. Equalizer. So the equalizer is after the denoiser. The multiband limiter is after the equalizer. And the gate is after the limiter. So denoiser, EQ, limiter, gate. That's what I currently have in line right now. So let me get... Uh, I hope this isn't too loud. I'm going to go grab a signal here. Uh, and then go ahead and tape them up. Oh, that's but, you know, I mean, if you really want to do uh, a, a job, you put the uh, shrink wrapping on it. But uh, I just uh, do a good tape job, and that seems seems to last. So, yeah, hey, if you want to do an A-B, go ahead. I'm sure Rich will be uh, interested, too. And, uh, and uh, you know, it sounds like you did everything right, you know, keeping it away from the metal roof and everything. Uh, and I did cinch up the 3K, hey, by the way. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go A-B, I'm sure Rich will uh, listen also. Just let me know what two antennas you're testing. Yeah, listen now, to that. Right? Isn't that freaking terrifying? Okay, well, um, I'm, I'm using the balanced uh, feed line, the so lateral quiet. antenna right now, and I'll give you a, uh, I'm going to have to unkey to uh, move the uh, antenna switch, so I'm going to do, a, this is the lateral line antenna, uh, and this is the coax antenna, Ah. Uh, and I'll switch back to the ladder line antenna. And there we go. We're back to the ladder line antenna. Well, I don't, I don't see much difference. I don't see much difference. Uh, you know, there was a little fading on both. I mean, so it was between almost 20 over and 10 over on both. I, I, uh, I didn't see any, any big difference. Did you, uh, Rich? Comment. Okay, on the comment, we'll get you. No, I didn't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a 20 dB attenuator here so the uh, S meter is a little more sensitive. I did not see a change. But when you're up anywhere in the 20 dB plus S9 region, you know, a 3 dB change yeah, is really hard to see. But if you're down at the S7... Mike, I think you'll find these uh, upgrades are uh, a radical improvement. Uh, the change. Uh, not a lot of... Not, not big changes, but... Uh, seem to have made a big difference. Um, of course, the static crashing is still pretty brutal. That's a brutal situation. So um, I found I found the limiting uh, instead of twenty over crashing, I had nine uh, uh, S nine. So it, it literally took out twenty dB of noise um, QRN, uh, which is significant. You know, because if somebody's at an S nine, now you can hear them. You know. Uh, yes, you can hear them before, but with the static crashing, it was, oh, this is what I was going to share with you guys as well. Watch your AGC, your AGC on your rigs. I, I did a lot of playing with that, and the AGC was, uh, I tried it on fast, and that didn't work. Uh, I tried it on medium, eh, wasn't too bad. So what I found was, now, this is the uh, the 7300. Other rigs, I have no idea how they're going to work out for you. Excuse me. You're just going to have to try it. So, um, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, the AGC. So, the AGC, I run mine on slow. And let me just look. I believe it's set to six seconds. Uh, pugh. Let me pop this open on the seven. Yes, it's set to six seconds. Um, so it releases, it takes six seconds to release the AGC. And what happens is, it, with a compressor, and this is what I was finding with compression, is that as that AGC was releasing, the compressor was engaged, and the noise would, you'd see it come rushing back up right here. 
if you watch this meter, you'll see you'll see it drop when you when it releases, right? Someone stops talking, the gate closes. And then all of a sudden the AGC or this signal because the AGC is opening again, right? After six seconds, it'll come roaring back up. And it made it uh, very difficult to manage. That's why I took the compressor out. I'm still gonna play with it some, but um on a quiet band it's great. But if you have if you have uh, uh, some really horrific static crashing, it, it can be a problem. All right, so we'll go back in here and listen to these guys quick. And the direction all come into play, so there's, there's no one antenna that's going to be better. It's certainly yeah, there you go, not Mike. in the feed line anyway. You know, if, you, if there's a dB of difference between the open wire and the uh, coax, <laughs> you know, that's... If you guys have any problems getting this up and running, uh, hit me via email. Uh, I can, I can team viewer in, um, if, if you got problems getting it up and going, I'm curious as to you guys, are you running, are you taking feeds from the rig into the built-in sound card using ASIO for all? Uh, just curious to see how that works. I don't know if that's how you guys are doing it or if you're using external sound cards, let me know in the chat there. Cause I am curious. I've been wondering if the ASIO for all uh, works with the internal sound card. I would imagine it would. I've used it before and it works good. Um, so be sure and let me know about that. Are uh, in the same plane. You know, I'm just a little further away uh, to the northeast. Well, how about the other guys? Um, uh, let's swing it down to Herb and then and then get uh, get Dave's take on it. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, did you see anything, uh, Herb? KB1AL. KB1AL on the group. And to GEW. Okay, very good. Uh, yes, huge difference. Uh, so uh, I think the directionality uh, is definitely a big factor. Uh, just as I. Re Do you mean ASIO, Mike? KD2SXD, you're talking about ASIO? On the antenna that's identified as the coax. Uh, unquestionable, not even uh, discussable, uh, debatable, um, because it was so quick. And uh, there's just uh, that's gotcha, what Mike. I have down here in cool. Salem County, New cool. Jersey, and to GEW. I really didn't want to present anything. <laughs> I know, spell check, spell check. I didn't want to present anything that would require you to invest money. I want this to be cheap and doable. Um, anything that makes our lives better uh, for pennies on the dollar works for me. Uh, so there you go. Better coming our way. No getting away from that. Go ahead. You know, Rick. Rick said the same thing the other day, Al. Oh. Uh, well, see. Well, that's the other thing. All you guys are very, I think, pretty close in. And Rick would be. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Was that from uh, his uh, his main home, uh, four miles away, or uh, or up in the cabin? That's what it was hard to believe if it's from his house, four, four air miles away. Of course, there's a big mountain between us, but, it's, you know, the signal's only got to go straight up and straight back down. Well, Roy, is that coax antenna lower to the ground than the other one? No, as a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's higher. It, it crosses it, actually. It crosses the ladder line. The one element of the ladder line. Oh, antenna. this is Roy it's up, uh, it's testing. Up, oh, I already spoke it, to him earlier. Not more than uh, <laughs> five, seven, eight feet or something. Well, hopefully he'll, uh, the main thing is hopefully maybe he'll get better. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's see what happens. Anyway, um, that's it. So, um, you know, did that with the vehicle today and, you know, drove that over up to Pompton Lake. Okay, I'm going to retune in the bottom here. may stop over i have an antenna for him he's one he wants to pick up but 
other than that, um, you know, that's it. Just going to be around the house just in case. Would you in a second? Then. All right, W O two X. Eddie. Where Tony is. Anyways, um, I'm not going to hold it here too long. That's lovely. I don't know what. Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> I'd love to know what that is. See, we got the band stretching out. Uh, starting to start to see the see the hop taking place see how watch the pan adapter this is how I know she's starting to stretch out as the thunderstorms the lightning starting to come in um, that's what I was talking about having to fuss with this uh, um, gate and this is where as the noise as it gets pretty brutal you're gonna have to go into here into the denoiser, and you're going to have to roll this back uh, probably to 2 kilohertz right here because um, it will help keep the, the gate from opening. Now, what I have found is that you can increase the EQ. You can go in here and, you know... Say, Did you have oh, there's Tony. Let's say uh, Dave's in there, Tony. So you can you can roll this back and then you can put a bump in the EQ uh, to bring this back up to see if you can get some clarity back. The beautiful thing about this DSP is um, I tried a very expensive DSP by Accusonics and uh, that thing was warbly. Um, you know, really, what you know how that you get that underwater sound? Horrible, man! Absolutely horrible. That was expensive. You know, I'm like freaking garbage, man. <laughs> it is. It's uh. Oh yeah, Mike. Yeah, with the crashes. Yeah, it's um, it's it's one of those things. Okay, uh, Mike, this is what I was going to show you. All right, this is what I was playing with last night. So the EQ. You almost need, you, if you look up here, right, uh, you can click this save. So let's say, uh, um, hmm. Ah, shoot. Hmm. So, set up A. Oh, add preset. Okay. So, you can save your presets in here. So, what I would do is I would go in and I would create different presets for different situations. So, let's say you have, um, you know, we're coming into summer. The bands are going to be incredibly noisy. Right, a lot of static crashing. So one option is, let me show you this first, is in here in the gate, remember? You can bring up the dry uh, part of this. Uh, let me go to, let me get this unmuted. Yeah, get down, Tony. So you can bring the dry in. It is, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I, I checked everything, it won't, won't let me do anything. And you can mix the direct signal, the dry signal, with the gated signal, right? So you can bring this yeah, up a little my, bit. My, yeah, that's, that's down. But my wife got, uh, she got basically uh, put into Facebook jail, too. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook Messenger and Instagram are down right now. That's what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm looking at downdetector.com. It's a pretty reliable source. Wow. How about Media blackouts coming, folks. Here we go. Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram are down. <laughs> the Democrats must be lining themselves up. Yeah, and Hootsuite, whatever Hootsuite is, is down. Uh, so it's probably whatever, okay. some, however they do it. I don't 
Okay, so this is what I was playing with. I'm going to do some more playing with this. So you can you can move the dry setting up, and it w it doesn't disengage the gate, but it keeps the gate active, right? Uh, so it mixes the the direct and the wet, the dry and the wet signal. So right, you can do that, and then what you do, and what you need to do is you need to save configure that and save a separate preset. Right? So it gives you a starting point. You don't have to go in and foobar the whole thing and reset the thing all the time. All these presets, you should be saving them. I, that's my next job. <laughs> um, and then you can go into the denoiser, right? And you can roll this back. Then you can go into this, the limiter, and you can fuss with this some. See if you can make, make some adjustments on this. You see where I'm going? And you can retailer it for a pseudo wide open signal. Uh, so that's something you can easily do and you can do it all through presets. You just, you know, you go in here, uh, you hit the drop down window. Um, your presets, once you add it, you know, let's say I want to add a preset. So, uh, so I'll call this, um, I'll call this the uh, quiet. Uh, let's call it crashless. What do you think? Crashless. So now, hmm. So now I can go ahead and grab this, right? Uh, I would go ahead and put it right into your Sinitis FX. Uh, so then you could do another one, let's say, uh, pre add another preset, reconfigure the EQ for uh, harsh static crashing, maybe bring down this top end. Uh, take this and drop it right down in here. Um, basically kill that garish, uh, or maybe add Maybe take this, move it over here to like the 2K, uh, 1 kilohertz, and then drop it here. Um, adjust the Q, uh, fuss with that. It, it, it's, it's time consuming, you know, but the benefits are, are kind of cool. So there you go on the presets. So let's, uh, I'm going to pop this back up. This, if it's a semi-automatic, it's the same as the semi-automatic pistol. It's the same as the Glock 19 or Glock 17. So a semi-automatic AR-15, well, where you got other frequencies you use there, you guys able to communicate okay? Or... Oh, I want to buy that little Weber. I got a Weber I used to have, and I used to love it. It's a very simple drill, Bob Joe. It's nothing fancy, but boy, it cooked a uh, nice steak. No, no, no. But you just think I can look at that on this. Jammers. Ghost TV calling CQ meters and listening. You can hear the static crashing here. It's starting to come in. Jeez. It's amazing when things start stretching out, isn't it? Crazy. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is VE3 SGV. Victor Echo 3. Sierra Golf Victor. CQ 80 meters. CQ 80 meters. DE3, STV, and listening. Oh, that's a horrible call. So, yep. So basically, once this crap starts happening, take this. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is DE3. You're either going to have to live with Victor it. Echo 3, Sierra Golf Victor calling CQ meters and listening. And then you're going to have to create another uh, EQ parameter. Um, and that is the AGC. See how that, that killed it? Uh, so it is. it does have to do with the high end. You may want to... CQ, CQ, CQ80. This is Victor Echo 3 Sierra Golf. What you may want to try is inserting an EQ before the denoiser. Um... Um, 
so you may be able to wipe out some of that uh, target that area where the static crashing is and uh, maybe even insert the limiter you know uh, actually why don't I just move the limiter let me put it up here see what happens VE3 SGB Victor Echo 3 Sierra Golf Victor calling C280 meters standing by Who is doing that? People are such jerk offs, man. Jeez. See, that may do it. No. It's not, it's not CQ, bad. CQ, CQ. This is VE3 SGV. Victor Echo 3, Sierra Golf Victor, and calling CQ 80 meters, listening. Now that's interesting. Right? So I may have just stumbled upon something. So let's do, uh... Oh, that's lovely. Allez, Lorraine. Ben oui. Non, non, ben je vais bien penser, mais c'est parce qu'on était en train d'écouter uh, Breaking Bad, tu sais, puis il y a cinq saisons, hein. Là, je suis dans, au début de la cinquième, là, puis ça brasse pas mal. Là. <coughs> fait que, euh, okay. pour ça, ben, j'ai du garde. Jacques Arroche, j'attends. Mute. Mais... OK, so, let me answer that. Uh, hey, Ed. Edward. Eduardo. How you doing, buddy? Uh, love it for Rag Chew and Mike. Uh, love it. Oh, it's so nice. Especially if you got, it works really good on an armchair copy. If you got an armchair copy with people, I mean, it's like you're sitting in the room with a man. Um, that's something I noticed that the, it's very difficult to achieve this even with the Anon, uh, even with uh, traditional, like a full blown SDR rig, there's still an element of noise in there. Uh, you gotta, you can, you can clamp the AGC down, but it just doesn't do what this can do. Um, it doesn't, uh, I've got two SDR rigs. I run front end, <clears throat> Uh, an RSP Duo, uh, uh, Aspi HF Plus, and the Anon. And none of those can do what this does. Um, it's just, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. Uh, it's, it's, it's just very cool. It's close. Uh, I think the, uh, the Aspi with SDR console is very close. Uh, but see, you lose, with the AGC clamp down, you lose volume in the audio. This you do not. That's what I notice, the difference. You know, uh, your audio does not go down. Um, it actually stays the same, uh, which is nice. So, geez, there was, uh, there was something else I was going to touch on. Oh, um, Mike, uh, play with the compression a little bit and, and see and let me know. Um, See, Ed, you always catch me when I'm on a rant. <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, Razor Fist? Check out uh, uh, Razor Fist on YouTube. You got This guy is off the freaking rails, man. Um, yeah, let me know how you make out. See if you can fuss with the, the chain, like where to insert things. I may have this messed up. I mean, this, this is, I'm learning about this. Um, you know, uh, I think I'm, I think we're really on to something, folks. I really do. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll get, I, that's why I want user opinions. Um, you know, you guys aren't going to hurt my feelings, so let me know. Ah, you know, if it doesn't work, ah, it doesn't work for crap. Just let me know. And I'll, uh, uh, but I'd like to find a solution to it. So anyways, yeah. Uh, Hey. Yeah. Who is that guy? I know that guy. Um I just got an email today that um is that Tom? Oh, the congressman here in New York is running against Como. That's 
KB3 UFP. Tomo, please don't get me going. That sounds like yeah, Tommy KB3 UFP. I want to watch him hang for what he did. Yep. They're going yeah, after that, you know what. Yeah, including our Marxist Murphy. <laughs> I'm sure he's on the list. Uh, what do we got around 36, See, what you can do as well, uh, Mike, and anybody else uh, checking this out. So let's say you have your threshold set really high, right? But it's kind of a pain in the butt moving this around, you know? So... Set it where it's, uh, you know, if you got a signal, set it so that the static crashing isn't slammed, opening the thing up and then slamming the door all the time. Take this dry and move it up. You know, this, this is a nice feature because if you hear, like if you're working DX, right, especially on 80 meters, it is so freaking noisy right now that last night was just absolutely bombastic, man. It was horrid. And there was some nice DX in there. I was listening to a guy. I could have worked him barefoot, I'm sure. Um, but man, the static crashing was horrific. So, you know, just take take this and just see how that closes down. You, if you get a weak signal in there, you're not going to hear anything. So you can just take this with a pair of headphones on. Just crack it open. If you have to go full tilt, go full tilt just to be able to work him, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's all at your fingertips, man. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, I am out of here. That's longer than what I was planning, but uh, a, lot, a lot of interesting stuff to share. I, th I think this is, um, this is potentially, you know, wh why would you spend money on a BHI speaker or something like that when you have something like this? Uh, at the at your disposal. Of course, you need a computer. You know, you're talking a standalone system as a, as opposed to a computer, um, computer driven system. But as Mike's Mike shared, you know, um, you know, as Mike shared, it, it runs with an ASIO for all. Uh, get your ASIO for all uh, loaded in there on your internal sound card and, and pipe all of this, uh, all your stuff to the sound card and you're off and running, man. Uh, Yoki, how the heck are you? Yeah, I'm telling you, man. If you're talking pure pleasure, me and the boys here at the jail want to... <laughs> Uh, by the time I get to Phoenix, we'll be right, what? Um, Glenn Campbell, right? Uh, there you go, man. Oh, no, Glenn Campbell. Is that Glenn Campbell? Come on, you guys. I think that was Glenn Campbell, right? Um, anyways, uh, great to see you all in here. Uh, hit me. Um, I will post notifications for these streams. I'm going to try and stream them because I want this live so people can jump in and say, hey, this doesn't work or this works for me or something. Uh, information is power. And there are people playing with this stuff. There's an, another chap. I can't remember his call sign. Uh, he's been emailing me uh, a lot. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Have a good evening. Um, get in there and tinker. It's fun. And anything that makes operating more pleasurable, I'm all for that. If it, if it takes a little bit to get it up and running, hey, you know, that's what it's all about. But I think this is groundbreaking and I don't, I really don't, I have never seen this before applied to amateur radio. I played with this stuff all my life. You know, being a musician, I ran a commercial studio for, oh, 15 years. I was a session musician from uh, the time I was about 19 years old all the way till uh, about 
about 10 years ago. Um, so uh, this is kind of in my wheelhouse. Now the computer, I hate computers. <laughs> I do, I hate computers. But man, for stuff like this, oh, oh yeah. Uh, this is powerful. This is very cool. Um, oh, that was Doug? Okay, no. It's not who I thought. Anyways, we'll see you guys later, 7-3. Have a great evening and thanks for stopping by. It's the hack in the shack, the maniac going sideways and we'll see you guys in a while, man. Uh, I find anything else new. I'm going to just keep dumping this stuff online. So I hate to torment you guys, but hey, uh, if only a couple people watch that are working on this stuff, maybe it can turn into a collaboration and, and we can put something together uh, pretty serious uh, start to finish. So there you go. 7-3 uh, guys. I don't know why this says hold for review. Uh, oh, KB9 UK. Wow, that's Illinois. Oh, uh, he's pretty strong in here. Uh, so, yep, she's stretching. Stretching her legs. See ya. I'm out.